even though it does pay to add more hardware to your system, you don't always need to shell out a bunch of cash for some RAM. Using a cool feature built into Windows, you can theoretically add more random access memory to your system using a small device that you probably already have around your house. My name is Andrew, and today I'll be showing you a quick little tip on adding RAM to your computer using only a USB stick. Now the way this works is by creating a usable disk on Windows on the USB drive that can be used to store random temp files which will ultimately give your computer a little speed boost. Now if that doesn't already sound awesome enough, Windows makes this stupid easy to set up, making this process literally take 60 seconds. Now first off, start by inserting your USB stick into one of the USB ports on your computer. Now it doesn't matter whether or not it's USB 2 or 3, however it will work better if you use USB 3.0. Now once your USB stick is in and recognized by Windows, you will need to format it before we do anything else, as this will ensure that you get the most out of your new RAM. Next, right click the USB directory and enter properties. Inside properties, you will need to enter the ready boost menu in which you can dial in the settings for the drive. Now starting from the top, tick the use this device circle, then move on to the bottom and move the slider around which will govern how much of the drive you want to allocate to RAM. Now once you have these settings calibrated to your liking, go ahead and press apply to seal the deal. Now you'll notice that a file the size you selected a second ago will appear on the drive, and even though it's basically indestructible, I wouldn't want to tamper with it. Now while this method does work, there are some obvious downfalls. First of all, of course, and the most obvious, you need to keep this stick plugged in, which isn't a problem if this is a desktop. However, if you're using a laptop, then this could become a bit cumbersome. Now in addition to this, you'll be unable to use any of the space on the stick as a result of your computer constantly dumping raw system files onto it. But aside from that, I have had great success with this method and has even increased things like boot times and gaming frame rates. Also another great thing about this is that at any time you can unplug the stick and store it somewhere when not in use. Now by the way, a quick tip. If you ever need to restore normal storage functionality onto your drive, simply open up the Ready Boost again and select this option to not use the drive, which in turn will delete the file on the drive. Well that's all for this video. If you like this content, check out some of my others. Also if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. But anyway guys, my name is Andrew and until next time, thank you for watching.